Welcome back friends. So today we will be dealing with the part 7 which is the uh, final content regarding the important days, awards, reports, census and index. Okay. So let us go ahead and see the topics for the day. So today we will be dealing with the uh, census on the salt water crocodiles that is done in the Bitter Kanika. We will also look at the state of India's birds 2020, Odisha's flood hazard atlas, first comprehensive census on the orchids and we will look at the different days that is international day for the disaster reduction. We will look at the water week, uh, world biofuel day, world tribal day, it is otherwise called as international day on world indigenous people. We will look at the world environment day uh, and uh, world day to combat desertification and drought. Uh, roadmap to access the clean cooking energy in India and action plan for the cleaner industry. And finally we will look at the framework for the assessment uh, of benefits uh, for the inaction for the drought preparedness report. Okay. So let us go ahead and see by one, one by one, right? So the first one is the Bitter Kanika census on the salt water crocodiles. So the, uh, what is its report found out? It was found out that there has been increase of 15 salt water crocodiles. Presently, there are now 1757 crocodiles, okay? So there are three species of these, the salt water, mugger and gharial, okay? So it is the largest of the living uh, reptiles. The crocodiles are the largest of the living reptiles and they are under the least concern category of IUCN and they are found uh, throughout the eastern coast of India. The next uh, is about the state of India's birth 2020. So this is uh, take, uh, done by the over 10 institutions and numerous citizen scientists. So this has been uh, you know, released in uh, uh, United Nations Bonn Convention of 13th Conference. Okay, you remember Convention on the Migratory Species otherwise called as the Bonn Convention. So this has taken place in Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat. So what he had found out that uh, there uh, in long term uh, 146 uh, uh, birds are at greater risk uh, and uh, they are continuously declining. In, uh, it also found out that in the western guards almost 75% have been declined since 2000 of this bird species. And the data collected through, this data has been collected through a citizen uh, science app that is called as eBird, okay. So extra points regarding uh, the western guards here, there, are, there were two committees that has been set up by India. One is Gargil Committee Kasturi, uh, followed by the Kasturi Ranjan Committee, okay. Uh, in India, this is one portal called as Bird Count Portal. This is an informal group of uh, different uh, civil society and scientists, right. So the next one is about the... What is the flood atlas? Uh, okay, hazard atlas. So uh, this has been done by using the satellite uh, satellite Im uh, images from 2001 to 2018. So this data helps the states to manage their floods uh, fish efficiently. So this is done by NRSC, that is the National Remote Sensing Center. This is located at Hyderabad. So how is here another additional point is how the tropical cyclones have been named. Uh, so this is are named by rules of the regional levels. So uh, there are five such uh, tropical cyclonal regional bodies here uh, for the for our uh, Bay of Bengal and Trop uh, Arabian Sea we have this escape panel. So uh, they have come to an agreement in Oman in 2007. So according to that they have made a table eight by eight table in which these uh, countries are, uh, are there in the column wise. So each column uh, each country gave eight. Uh, names right so uh, according to, uh, according to the alphabetical order uh, for every uh, cyclone it, uh, it will be named so these eight countries are india pakistan bangladesh maldives myanmar oman sri lanka and thailand so it starts with bangladesh uh, no alphabetical order and is followed by india so on so there are total 60, uh, 64 names right 828 the next topic is about the first comprehensive census on the orchids See, uh, this is conducted by the Botanical Survey of India. Uh, so, in the Himalayas, northeastern parts of the country and western Ghats, these were found at the hotspots for these beautiful plants. Uh, so, the highest number of types of species were found in the Arunachal Pradesh, followed by Sikkim and West Bengal. Orchid family, this is listed under Appendix 2 of the sites. What does it mean? It means that any trade in wild, wild orchid is banned globally. So, little bit basics about the sites, we have already discussed in the previous class, it is an international agreement, uh, so to, which is regulating the commercial trade in the wild flora and fauna and it has its inception in IUCN, this is uh, administered by the UNEP, okay. 
The next topic is about the International Day for Disaster Reduction. So this is observed on October 13th. What is the theme? To reduce the disaster damage to the critical infrastructure and uh, disruption of the basic services like uh, health, education, etc. So, and for the building the more uh, for this uh, uh, this the believe uh, this uh, disaster reduction is for building more disaster resilient communities and for the nations. So we have uh, one uh, important framework called the Sendai framework for 2015 to 13. Okay, so this is approved by United Nations uh, members in 2015 at the third conference of the disaster risk reduction that occurred in Sendai. Does the name has its origin? So this is voluntary and not binding. So this is the successor to uh, yoga framework that has taken place from 2005 to 2015. So this Sendai has the seven global targets. Uh, see, these are, can be uh, subcategorized into reduce one thing and the increase. So, in reduce, we need to reduce the mortality and the amount of the, uh, the uh, amount of the affected people, economic loss done by the disasters, damage to the critical infrastructure, and disruption to the basic services. Okay. So, see, so this is here. And in the con uh, in the category of increase, we need to in uh, increase the strategies like how to tackle them, international cooperation to reduce the disaster. Uh, and availability and access to multi hazard warning systems okay the next topic is about the india's water week uh, so this has been observed in the month of september from 24 to 28 so this is organized by uh, ministry of jal shakti okay and ganga regeneration uh, so uh, so this uh, he, uh, this week's uh, this year's theme is water uh, cooperation coping up with 21st century challenges okay so uh, mean like uh, we need to adopt to the climate change so on remember the national water mission uh, is the one of the eight missions of national action uh, plan on the climate for the climate change right please do remember the other uh, seven uh, missions as well uh, we already discussed this in earlier class the next topic is about the world biofuel day this is observed on 10th of august so the theme uh, for the, for this year is production of the biofuel using used cooking oil okay used cooking oil so additional uh, information regarding the same is the national policy on biofuels this is very much important so there are four types of four uh, generations of biofuels that we have uh, that india made policy uh, so the first generation is directly taking the uh, biofuel from the food crops however there is a controversy regarding that uh, this uh, this is in contravention of the addressing the poverty issues in india so the, this is this will be addressed by generation to where we will uh, take the biofuel from non food food crops okay third generation we will be deriving from the algae and microbes and the fourth generation uh, we will be deriving with the modified genetical engineering of these algae and microbes why this gives the high yield okay and high content the next topic is about the international day for the world indigenous people otherwise called as the world tribal day so this is observed on August 9th every year. It is aimed at protecting rights of the world tribal population. So this, so this is very much important regarding the uh, tribal population, right? So in the context of environment, there is one act called as Bio Biological Diversity Act. So that came in 2002. So what uh, there is a specific, uh, you know, uh, specific point in this act. Uh, which states equitable share of the benefits arising uh, out of use of uh, biological resource. So how uh, it aims at respecting and protecting the traditional knowledge. So traditional knowledge is based, uh, is majorly with the ST, uh, with the tribal people. Uh, so so uh, this act specifically addresses the tradi traditional knowledge point, right? So it is in line with international commitments for the Convention on Biodiversity. So that is the Nagoya Protocol. Okay. The next topic is about the 45th World Environment Day. It is observed on June 5th every year. So this is a part of UNEP. So to, uh, this time's theme is to beat the air, uh, air pollution, right? So uh, some extended points regarding the same. We have Environment Pollution Con uh, Control Authority. Remember, this is this has come as a result of Supreme Court judgment. Okay. So, uh, so this is notified under the uh, by the Ministry of the Environment, okay, and uh, under Environment Protection Act, 1986, okay. 
so what is its objective to protect, uh, for the protecting and improving the quality of the environment controlling the environment pollution in delhi so uh, the case has come up regarding the air, high amounts of air pollution in delhi right so the next one is the world day to combat the desertification and drought so this is observed in uh, on 17th june the slogan uh, for this year is let's grow the future together so remember about the uncctd that is the united nation convention to combat desertification uh, so this con uh, conference of parties 14 has first time taken place in india so india hosted for the first time and there we have uh, uh, we have seen certain important aspects like delhi declaration right uh, and also certain kind of uh, new initiatives so uh, we have already discussed in the previous class please just uh, re recapitulate it the next topic is about the road map to the access to the clean cooking energy in india report so this is developed in collaboration with niti aayog uh, so and the german development agency and council of council on energy environment and water this is a non profit organization so this what does it do it, descri uh, it prescribes strategies to eliminate the uh, use of uh, all cooking arrangements that cause the household air uh, pollution so uh, remember this is causing uh, uh, huge health issues especially with the con uh, with the context of indian women okay so uh, by, by the year 2025 so uh, we have one scheme to address this uh, health population that is a household in uh, in, in house uh, air pollution that is called as pradhan mantri ujwala yojana Uh, where uh, initially they will be providing a free gas connection right lpg gas connection the next topic is, is about the national action uh, national uh, sorry action plan for the cleaner industry so the, uh, this is uh, this has been released by the niti aayog and the cia that is the confederation of indian industries so uh, this is to address the air pollution in the delhi okay so for the active participation of the government agencies industries and different civil society bodies okay the extended point for the same we have uh, pollution index specifically for the industries okay so this is given by the ministry of environment and forest and this categorizes the in, uh, industries based on this pollution index okay so if the uh, uh, pollution index is above 60 and above they are placed in red category if it is between 41 and 59 it is called it is under orange if if it is between 21 and 40 it is under green and if it is less than 20 it means white so it is like the uh, highest population to the uh, sorry highest pollution to the least pollution the next topic is of the framework for the assessment of the benefits of, of action or the cost of the inaction so uh, what amount of the benefits uh, of the action that has been uh, or the inactions because of the drought preparedness report okay so this is released in the Con conference of parties 14 uh, recently that has taken place uh, so we uh, as, as we discussed earlier this is the part of one of the three rio conventions uh, we also seen regarding unccd in the previous classes uh, so the, this is uh, we remember that gef that is the global en uh, environment facility supports all these three uh, fundings right so please do, uh, do share your feedback uh, so we'll be discussing about the other current affairs in the next couple, uh, couple of classes right till then take care and uh, all the best with you, uh, for your preparation right thank you